Hi everybody, it's Steve Nadudan here with Toby, Toby Meow, for an unboxing of a new pair, which I just really am surprised I got. I didn't know they were dropping, and there's a shock drop today of the Adafam Q, the new um, Adidas foam shoes. They're kind of like the foam runners be easy, if some would say, but they're their own, own, own brands. And pull the shoes out, Toby gets in the box, at least it plays with it. And it's this shoe, so the shoe itself is a foam outer shoe with a secondary inner shoe. The inner shoe well comes out. So you can unlace the shoe. I just got these, so I haven't done it. You can unlace the shoe and the second part is fully removable. So the entire inside of the shoe, you can see in the bottom here, it comes out here also, is removable. So you can use it just like the, like the foam runners, like a foam shoe on the outside. But in this case, it has this inner cage with the inner shoe as well. And to me, that's really important because um, the foam runners, I like the shoe, but they're really hard to wear. I have to wear them with socks. Um, if I don't wear socks, it really does tear my foot up on the, on the ankle area. And, you know, so it, um, it's one of those things that I think it's a, that shoe I like a lot. It's very comfortable, but I have to be really careful when I wear it without having to wear socks with it. So this one, I like the fact that it has the built-in um, in piece here. So like I said, if I unlace the shoe, which I won't, but you can kind of see inside, the, the orange section comes out. So it's two pieces in the shoe. So this is my size, a size 13. I went to the store. They had, they had two colors. The other color I preferred, but they only had 12 and a half, the white pair, I think it's a better looking pair, but they didn't have my size. So I went for this pair, which did fit me, which is more important. So I took um, comfort over fashion in this case, because I didn't get comfortable when I wear my shoes. I want to say a big thank you um, to obviously Adidas, but I'm, uh, I'll put it in the description below, but Raji, um, at Raji, Raj, um, he um, posted on his Instagram profile that they, he had them, and I contacted him, he let me know they were released today. And it was a shoe that wasn't really supposed to release today, it wasn't announced to release, I didn't even know about it. So thanks to him, I messaged him and said, hey, you know, so then he let me know that they actually, they kind of shock dropped today. So they had them at the Adidas Mall, at the Adidas Mall, at the Dubai Mall, Adidas Original Store, both, both color pairs were available, the black and the white pair. I think they had the black pair only downstairs, but the white pair was only upstairs at the Original Store. Uh, like I said, by the time I got there, they might have sold the one pair of 13s they had, so wasn't able to get them. So I got the um, black pair in a size 13. Now I'll be on the hunt for the white pair in a size 13 as well. So very comfortable. I did try them on. They're very comfortable to wear. I'm looking forward to giving them a good, good day's run. Um, I like that they're laced up now. So that, to me, it's more of a shoe format than, than the slip-on one. So I probably it'll be, try to pull this off at work at some point in time also. So I think it's a, it's a fun looking pair. I know it's not everybody's favorite. I'm sure people will be very divisive on this one. Um, of course, the big conversation is how much was this inspired by the Easy Foam Runner versus the, they say it's inspired by the Quake. I think it is a different Adidas shoe. Um, I personally don't see the big deal. It is a different shoe. It has a different cage on the outside, has a lace system, it has an, a secondary insert. Yes, it does have some similarities to the Foam Runner, but you can say a lot of shoes have a lot of similarities to other shoes. It isn't, this is not a direct copy of it. So I, I think this is, in my mind, uh, kind of its own thing, which has some, you know, pedigree history with it, but it's its own own thing as well. So um, looking forward to wearing them and trying them out for a full day's wear, but the test run I had in the store, they were comfy. So um, if you have, hope you, you can get a pair if you want a pair. Um, some people won't want a pair, so don't get them, then simple as that. The retail was good on these. It was $4.99 Durham's, which is in the US or $120, so US. It's not a bad price, in my opinion, for this shoe. I don't know that it's gonna sell for much more, much more than that. I don't think this is gonna be a big resale on this one. It'll probably sell for 20 over. So it's kind of nice that people that want the pair hopefully can get a pair at retail version have to pay a resale price on it. So that'll do it for tonight. Um, time for Toby to um, probably take a nap in the box. <laughs> and I'm gonna go and get ready to go to sleep myself because it's getting nighttime here. And we'll talk to you soon. So if you see me in the room, we'll say hi. Um, hope your job's doing well. As I always say, be sure to um, buy what you like and wear what you buy. And with that, we'll call it another video. Follow me on YouTube, same thing, Nadudon, N-O-T-U-D-O-N. And we'll talk to you next time. Alrighty, see ya, bye. And see if the battery's working this time for the remote control. Not the first time, second time, third time, fourth time.